So I've definitely been seeing them online. Uh, some teachers, you know, down in South. Um, Alabama, Missouri, they've been going out to visit their kids. Uh, some of the elementaries in my own town did it last week, so uh, a couple of my teachers saw that, reached out to me, and we said, all right, let's do it. Um, so then I reached out to the superintendent to say, hey, can CMS do a pride drive? And he went, sure, as long as you invite the entire district. Uh, so that's kind of how it became, you know, a district-wide pride drive. Um, we started with one drive and then um, ended up breaking it into three. Um, as of last night, we had 187 people sign up to do the drive with us, so definitely glad that we went into three different groupings. Um, and then we just kind of plotted things out, so uh, broke kind of broke Norwood into three different sections. Um, I started plotting out routes. I'm not really sure why the girl from outside of Seattle, Washington was the one in charge of plotting out the routes, but that's kind of how it worked out. Um, the other principals jumped in and helped to kind of make some corrections, add some pieces. Um, let me know about this fabulous map we have on our website that outlines all the elementary schools. Wish I had had it about two hours before I got it. Um, so once we had them all plotted out, checked by the principals to make sure that they were pretty accurate, that we were hitting the majority of our neighborhoods, our goal was to go into as many neighborhoods as we possibly could because, you know, we certainly wanted to keep our kids and our families safe and socially distant. Um, then we got it out to our uh, teachers um, and then we kind of posted it out wide. We sent it out via Connect Ed. Um, each of the individual principals, we took our routes and um, posted them widely. Uh, schools that cover the whole town, we divided into three. So CMS, um, the high school, the Willet, the LMPA. Um, we divided our people up between the three different routes. So that's kind of how it all came together and uh, ended up here at 10 o'clock in the morning. And uh, oh, and thank goodness for the Norwood police. Um, I, this would not have worked without them. So Lieutenant Patton was with us. Um, Officer Mahoney ha helped to arrange for the SROs and the school liaison officers to help out as well. Um, without their help, it definitely would have been a disaster. So thank you so much to Chief Brooks and to the Norwood Police for all of your help. There were concerns about social distancing. Um, I haven't checked with the other principals yet, but I saw no groups of more than a single family anywhere. Most people were staying in their front yards, um, the big apartment complexes we went to, people waved out of windows, they went out on balconies. Um, so it was just so great. Um, and we certainly expected to see our families and see our kids. What I think maybe we've forgotten about is that so many of the elderly residents of Norwood have not been able to get out for possibly even longer. So, so many of our old Older residents um, were waving at us, um, were filming us. Um, we're just so excited, I think. So I think hopefully we brought a, a little bit of joy, a little bit of happiness to what's been a really, really difficult time for a lot of people.